cognitive neuropsychology. This is the study of abnormal atypical conditions. Acquired is defined as resulting from brain injury later in life, while development is whereby there's a failure in the brain to develop normality and thus fail to acquire it. Modularity. This is the notion that cognition involves activity in multiple processes or modules. Modularity is said to be informationally encapsulated, thus it works independently and it is also said to be domain specific where the module accepts one type of input and it is also mandatory in which it cannot be turned on or off. In assessing for cognitive neuropsychology, one must consider what is the cognitive deficit. One must also consider, as in the researcher or scientist or neuropsychologist, has to consider theories on assessment of um, the alleged impairment in performance of that certain cognitive area. Rehabilitation is the goal of all neuropsychologists and it includes what can be done to reduce the deficit, to restore or reinstate the processes or just help the person adapt with this um, loss of ability. Case study is the intensive scientific study of a single individual with a cognitive deficit. Case series, this is defined as multiple case studies and are presented and discussed together in a single paper. Dissociation, these are the patterns which one cognitive ability shows impairment while another ability is intact. Double dissociations are where there are two single dissociations across individuals. So for one individual, they have an impairment for one ability, but they have intact another ability, while for another individual, it is vice versa. And then thus through that, through these double dissociations, we can pinpoint where, what part of the brain had went wrong. And thus this looks more on the performance and accuracy of the cognitive ability task. Case LM. Case LM had the stroke and could see stationary objects. From case LM, topsia was discovered, which is the inability to perceive movement. Case S had head injury and was discovered to have prosopagnosia, which is the inability to identify familiar faces and faces all look the same. Case S could not recognize faces. Case OS had the difficulty in recognizing faces as well, but this was more developmental. Case CK had head injury and diffused damage to the temporal occipital region. Case CK as a result had object agnosia and couldn't recognize objects. Case JBR had encephalitis and as a result affected uh, similar regions to case CK. Case JBR had the ability to name inanimate objects but not living things. Case AC had stroke but couldn't read, write, copy pictures or no word meanings. AC had poor perceptual ability but had good conceptual knowledge. Thus, from case AC, we were able to understand that memory stores of conceptual and perceptual information were separate. So concepts and perceiving said concepts were stored in different areas of the brain. Case HE had a stroke and consistently made spelling errors, putting the wrong double letters in. Through this, it was believed that there was a feature marking system in the brain to signify whether words have double letters or not. But maybe that could also be a unique case to the English language because the English language is notorious for having rules and having many exceptions to those said rules. Case LHD had a stroke in the temporal occipital area. LHD was educated but now read aloud and said words wrong. Previous theories of slot coding was not compatible and it was found that LHD's ability to count position of letter distance from the edge of the word was impaired. Thus, we looked at cognitive neuropsychology, we looked at the definition of acquired and developmental abnormalities, we looked at modularity, assessment, rehabilitation, case study, case series, dissociations, double dissociations. We also looked at examples from various uh, specific case studies. We looked at echinotopsia, prosopagnosia, object agnosia, feature marking, and some research in memory and perception. Um, and yeah, this concludes the cognitive psychology summary. Um, I hope you join me in 
watching other videos that I'll put out in the future. And yeah, as in just like and subscribe. If you want to see more content about just asking questions, being curious about the world. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.